So this is another dry run at 150. A little bit quicker as you see. I'm going to start printing at 200 millimeter a second. We are actually not printing, but moving at 200. So this is what 200 looks like. So we're just homing to start printing at 250 millimeter a second. So move back to the corner and then we go. So this is 250. And for you speed freaks, you cannot actually print anything at uh, speeds uh, really higher than 100 if you are laying down some decent amount of filament. So maybe you can squeeze out something at 150. So this is just movement speed. We cannot heat the filament to the point that we can squeeze it out at uh, any high speeds. So this is 300. So this is how it looks like at 300. Okay, so, well, there you go. So I guess we have 300 at the, at the, the um, perpendicular movements and only two, 212 at the, the uh, diagonals. I have no idea why that's very, very strange. It might be because uh, the motors actually have have uh, been restricted, uh, and for diagonals they might need to move quicker. I'm not sure.